Hey guys, it's Mark. Welcome to Big Man in the Woods, your online scout leader, helping you become a better scout leader. Now I'm here on Cup Camp. They're up there playing football. And I thought, you know what? I'd head down to the woods and I'll give you some advice that I'm going to give you. And I've also asked leaders around the UK for tips and tricks on how you can survive your first ever scout camp. Now, it's a gloomy task, isn't it? It's, there's loads of things to plan, loads of things to book. Have you done the book, the van? Have you done the shopping? The little, uh, we've done all that. But this is advice on how you personally can have a better time at Scout Camp, whether that's Beaver Camp, Cub Camp, Scout Camp, Explorer Camp, Leader Camp, Family Camp. And this isn't about making the camp fun for the young people. This is about how making you have a better time. Right, let's dive into these tips and tricks. Number one tip is to take some time out. And that's exactly what I'm doing here. It is 24 seven, all right? It's, it's, you wake up seven in the morning if you're lucky and you go to bed midnight, one o'clock, whatever, nonstop. And you're doing that for maybe two, if not three days. So you're on duty 24 seven more or less. And it's hard, it's knackering. So you've got to take time for yourself. You just rota an hour, if not two hours break uh, into your daily pattern. All the leaders will do that. Whether you come down here on where it's nice and peaceful and, and it's a nice breeze into the woods, whether you chill out in your tent and have a cup of tea or just do whatever away from the camp, yeah? Making sure you've got the safe ratios, but you as a leader need your own time. Other one, awesome tip, make sure you have a brew. Always keep drinking, whether it's a cup of tea, coffee, orange juice, water, keep rehydrated. If you don't drink, we know, we tell the young people all the time, you get a really bad headache, but try and avoid energy drinks, all right? They give you that sugar boost right away, but man, you're gonna have a sugar rush down and a crash, and you're gonna feel worse, all right? So try and avoid energy drinks. Have lots of water, tea, coffee, squash. So James is suggesting keeping your tent tidy it really is easy to go to bed at night take your clothes off just throw them or you've got your wash kit you just throw that in your tent we're telling the young people to keep their tents tidy we should do it as well as leaders and it just makes things easier and nicer it's like going home and your living room and your bedroom's a mess it's not good for the mind and it'll be exactly the same for your tent keep it clean keep it fresh and you know where that grab bag is when you need to get your emergency brew kit or chocolate or whatever so keep your tent tidy. Good tip there, James. Donna suggests sun cream. So we are always constantly telling the young people, particularly here, it's a bit of a sunny day today here at Cup Camp to put your sun cream on every couple of hours or spray or whatever. And we as leaders kind of forget this. We give the advice to the young people, but we don't do it ourselves. So make sure you apply sun cream regularly. Good tip here from Kian. He's saying, make sure you eat regularly and often and make sure it's good, healthy, fills your tummy food yeah so it's all good to snack or particularly if you're the chef you're cooking for the weekend and you're you're cooking i don't know 20 30 sausages and eggs and spag bowl whatever and we know when we're cooking it doesn't taste the same doesn't taste as nice and we might be picking or whatever but as a leader make sure you're eating good healthy food consistently so you're getting your breakfast lunch and dinner and snack in between maybe a few bits of sugar to keep that blood pressure the sugar levels up but make sure you eat loving that tip uh, james is his advice his ex-wife was a guider and she used to tell him make sure you put your welly boots upside down on some sticks outside your tent so one they dry and no creepy crawlies will crawl in them good one and that also works for your boots and, and shoes nick saying bring a sense of humor that's easier said than good isn't it you know we all like a laugh that's why we're here uh, scouts and cubs and beavers having a bit of fun but at camp it can be really tiring it's really tiring we're getting grotty we might be getting hangry if you're like me when you're hungry and tired and you just everything annoys you and it's really hard to dig in and get that sense of humor but believe me it'll work just yeah relax have a bit of fun and even if it means laughing at your expense humor will get you through the cup camp so james is saying there's no bad thing of going to bed early all right we want to stay up late we want to sit around the campfire we want to have a chat we want to have a sing song or whatever or, or leaders put the world to rights but having a good night's sleep will make the camp a much better place in the morning okay so we know for the young people as well when they grow, even for my kids when they don't get enough sleep um and i know for me when i don't get enough sleep i'm a bit of a bear in the morning and everything just annoys me but for me i do like staying up late 
around the campfire. But then in the morning, I'm like, oh man, I regret it. But yeah, I agree. Having a good night's sleep and not having to outdo each other as leaders. So when the kids go to bed, guess what? Go on, go to bed. Bex is saying, bring your own luxury item. For me, that's a good brew and Jaffa cakes. <laughs> just put them in my tent, just a little midnight treat when my sugar levels are dropping or whatever. Have a bit of chocolate. It's just nice, isn't it? And I know from experience now I'm getting a little bit older. <laughs> I'm not that old, but I'm getting older. I need a good night sleep. So having a camp bed, those kinds of things, having a nice chair um, rather than just sitting on a log um, or even like a luxury is just taking some time out here in the woods and sitting and reading a book for half an hour, an hour. Good advice there, Bex. Bring a luxury item to camp. Awesome advice on this one, Karen. Thank you very much. Is don't forget to ask. When things are going wrong or you don't know, ask someone. In fact, there's a group just over there, another scout group who have bought a gazebo for the first time, an event shelter, should I say. And they're struggling and you can see all these instructions are flying around and lots of... Uh, raise voices sorry say so they came over to me just now and asked me if i knew how to put up an event shelter we worked together as a team we read the instructions and we got that event shelter up so asking for help even if you're struggling if you're feeling tired and that's when accidents happen isn't it as a, as a leader when we're tired we might cut our finger when we're chopping burn ourselves while we're cooking on the on the open fire or just not thinking wisely or you're just struggling just just don't know how to do x y or z always ask for help because if you don't it goes wrong there could be further consequences and it's like ah, if only i asked for help john is saying breathe don't forget to breathe when it's getting a bit you know stressful things are going a bit wrong you're getting tired take three really deep breaths I bet they're laughing at me in the, in the bushes over there. <laughs> uh, yeah, just trying to deep breathing, calm down, maybe go and sit down and have a brew and go back to it. But always forget, always forget to breathe. Don't forget to breathe. And also his other little tip, where is it? He says, sometimes dealing with scouts is like herding cats into a potato sack. <laughs> I kind of get what he means. It is, yeah. Ah! I like that one. Herding cats into a peseta sack. John Loving. I'm going to nick that one. And Moira, last advice. Brilliant advice. And don't forget to interact with the young people. Just because they're playing up there, playing football, doesn't mean that you can't play football. Maybe you can have uh, patrols versus leaders. Or if you're having, you know, you're maybe doing arts and craft and you're doing some painting. You as a leader should dive in and don't just stand there and just kind of... <sighs> Because it'll be a boring camp. Believe me, if you're just standing in the background and you want to get involved, you want to go and do that zip line, you know what? If you're, if you're able to do it and the weight limit is okay for you as an adult to go and do that activity, you know what? Go and do it. Have fun. You know, take part in those activities. So there you go, guys. Advice on how you can survive your first ever camp. And I shouldn't say it's your first ever camp. It should be all your camps. Rethink about those those tips and tricks when you're going for your next camp and just remembering take some time out it's one of the, probably the one of the best advices make sure you as a leader have time out make sure you eat make sure you drink and bring a luxury item <laughs> there you go guys what how i missed what advice would you give a leader if they've never been camping before until next time guys don't forget watch this one there's a playlist all about tips and tricks for first-time scout leaders see you next time here on big man in the woods